So the plan for today is to make a center console out of fiberglass and foam. I already done some measurements and I cut out the first piece. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna be in the passenger seat here. And the plan today is to make a console that's gonna be five inches wide here, eight inches wide here, and then it's gonna expand to 12 inches. I'm trying to have this boat in the water by the end of January. All we're missing is the center console, sanding down the floor, making the back look pretty, painting, rigging, and, and testing. So hopefully we can be in the water before the next Keys Island Runners event. I think it's February 28th, that's the next big run. All right, so I just cut out my second sheet of foam. I got this in my local marine supply store. Just and I just cut it out using a razor blade and I shaped it with a Sharpie. This is the same materials that I built this, this console out of, you see? And we're gonna be building the small center console out of the same materials. So I have all my pieces cut out. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but we're about to find out. Remember, I'm not a professional fiberglass guy. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm only showing you how I do things and I'm not saying the way I do it is the right way. So I'm gonna plan on cutting down here on these lines so I can put my foam boards that I've already cut out. And hopefully we can make a console. I'm gonna be gluing it together. I'm gonna be gluing it together with super polyfill be using this as my mixing tray it uses the same hardener as the resin fiberglass resin i love this stuff i'm going to be putting a little extra hardener just for it dries super quickly where i can start shaping it and making it look how i want it to look so then i can glass it with shop strand matting and through the inside i'm gonna i'm gonna put a little bit of 17 to wait for extra strength There we go, it's officially one piece. I'm just missing this and this. There's gonna be another panel that goes right here for some switches. The plan is to have maybe two cup holders or an insert where I can put my phone here. I'm gonna have the trim and the jack plate switches right here. And then my throttle right here, my billet shifter right here. Now I'm gonna get the 60 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna start shaping it so I can later get some 1708, cut it down to shape and start glassing and making it look pretty. All right guys, there she is. First coat of fiberglass is on the console, but it kind of looks like it's a pit bull or some, or some type of dog, right? I see either a dog or a semi truck. A schnauzer. She sees a schnauzer. A little, I, I see a Great Dane. Or a Great Dane. Dane face. The face or the, the head, but. 
I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna put two more sheets of shop strands, flip it upside down and glass it through the inside. And I'm gonna pick up the video tomorrow because it's like 10 o'clock at night and it's time to go to sleep. Early the next morning. Nice and hard. Now I'm gonna grind all this off with my angle grinder. And I'm gonna finish fiberglassing the parts on the sides that I missed. And then hopefully we can glass her in in the next hour into the hall and make the dash connect right here. There we go. She's all shaped up. Fiberglass the inside. It's not the prettiest, but no one's gonna see in there. Now, let's go see how she looks like on the boat for the first time. I gotta sand this floor today also. And hopefully we can start primering real soon. Good. Right. Yeah, I got plenty of room here. Plenty of room. Alright guys, that's how she's gonna look like. I cut a hole in the floor under the console so I can run my shifter cable and my throttle cable. Now I need to glass in this little piece right here and make it all look like it's one piece. I just realized that the camera wasn't recording anything I was doing. So here's an update. The console's officially glassed onto the dash. And it's all one piece. Now I just gotta glass the sides, close up this hole, and move on to the next step of flaring and getting her looking pretty. Alright guys, there we go. The console's officially glassed into the hall. And she's looking decent. I still need to do a lot of detail work. Like this little hole right here. I got to sand everything down and make everything look pretty. I still got to sand down the floor and make it look smooth. But little by little, the goal is to get this boat in the water before the end of January. And it's, look, and it's looking promising. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do all the detailed work. And I'm, how, how I get this bare fiberglass to look nice and sharp and smooth so stay tuned for that video if you're not already subscribed and you like and you like speed boats make sure to subscribe this is a homemade boat that i'm building for my girlfriend stay tuned i'm gonna try to post as much as i could oh and the hatch is already done here's a little spoiler alert on how the back seats are gonna look Remember, I'm not a professional fiberglass guy. Use this video for entertainment purposes only. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night. Peace.